the great state of Maryland and Danny Callaway. Danny has become family to us. Uh, we, we started hunting with him several years ago and we always go up there and that's what this week's episode is about. Earlier in the year, Danny invited Jason and Eric to come hunt his home farm. Jason took advantage of the opportunity and let a dead ringer loose at a great mature Maryland swamp buck. One bite's a gosh, man. Jesus. Danny Calloway is one big deer killing fool here in Maryland in the swamps. <laughs> he, hey, he is a swamp ninja. He is. What can I say about Danny Calloway? He is straight up a big buck killer, period. Danny's been helping the Red Rising guys get on big bucks for years. But now it's Danny's turn to grab his bow and do what he does best. If you can hunt these deer up here and kill big deer, you can kill big deer anywhere. Jason killed Ward's buck. I mean, it was an awesome buck. Great story, great to see a 100% swamp deer go from nothing to just an absolute awesome buck being fed the right diet, monster meal. Danny's got two bucks he's after. I mean, two absolute monsters. didn't come down the ditch to Danny that night, but Danny would continue to hunt that spot night after night, waiting for his opportunity. Still hunting that giant eight-pointer. With any luck, we should get a shot. We just need a deer. This is Eric and Jason's last night here with me, and I would really like to get it done tonight. Unfortunately, another hunt would come and go without Danny getting a shot at this buck. That means it's time for Jason and Eric to hit the road. Danny's not going anywhere. He's gonna keep chasing that giant. You know, Eric and I, we had to get back home and Danny was nipping on the heels on all these big deer. We knew it was only a matter of time before he got one killed. Eric and Jason, they've made it back home safely. I'm glad those guys made it back safe and I wanna get a deer on the ground. I wanna send them a picture and, and celebrate. It's nothing like it. All we need is a deer to show up and I'll take care of the rest. Make sure you subscribe and like the page. On top of that, make sure you click the little notification bell. That way you'll be one of the first ones to know when a new video drops. 
Jason and Eric were hunting with Danny Calloway in Maryland when Jason released a dead ringer at a great Maryland swamp buck. Now Jason and Eric have hit the road and it's Danny's turn to fill a tag. Danny's been chasing a couple of great bucks and on the night Jason and Eric left, one of those bucks stepped out in front of Danny's stand. We knew, we knew in that first week um, he was gonna get shot one of them. I've got the absolute worst wind for where these deer just come from. I'm expecting the deer to come from the north. They come from the west, and I've got a east wind. And I just turn around and look, and here come a buck I've had several encounters with a small buck. And I got on him, and I heard something. And I looked back, and there was my shooter, the one I've been after. And man, I let him have it. I hit him high and a little back. Man. That dead ringer super freak eat him up. He didn't go 15 yards and he is down. They weren't the best shot I've ever made. It was probably one of the worst, but the broadhead did its job. I put my clothes in scent crusher for about 20 minutes before I come out here. And I mean, what, what can I say? He's laying right there. I can see my lady knock sticking right up out of him. And I am pumped. Eric and Jason said, We'll leave and you'll kill a buck. And sure enough, man, you're sitting there and you hear that phone ding at that magic time in the evening. And I knew when I saw Danny's name pop up what had happened. I want to go there and get my hands on him. What a beautiful deer. Man, I can't believe I hit this deer that far back. But this is, uh, this is the deer I've been after. And he is an absolute beautiful deer we knew it was only a matter of time before he got one killed and i absolutely hate the fact that we weren't there to celebrate with him but congrats daddy on a great deer this is the deer i was after i had trail camera pictures of him all summer long he's kind of disappeared on me we're fighting a full moon we had really warm temperatures an awesome buck cool character and i love him eric and jason they've hunted with me all week i've been out here struggling a little bit and finally got one on the ground and it's the one i've been after and I'll gladly take him home. He's been rubbing, he's still got blood around his bases and a little bit of velvet, but he is a gorgeous buck. What a way to start the season. Jason goes up and kills the ward buck, the one I was supposed to kill, I wasn't able to go. And right after that, Danny lays this big buck on the ground. I mean, he's just a killer. We need you to support us guys so go over hit that subscribe button hit that like button and every time we post something you're gonna get that little bell going off and you'll know instantly that you can go over and watch it and catch what's going on danny calloway harvested a great mature buck on his home turf in maryland but he has no plans of slowing down danny continues to hunt day in and day out hoping for a chance at one of the other great shooters that are roaming his farms it was 80 degrees yesterday, mid to low 50s today. It's supposed to cool down in the 30s tonight. What a temperature change. I'm back here hunting on the field. A buddy called me the other night and had a really good buck out here. We sat here the other evening and saw about 19 does on his field and one small buck. So we're going for round two out here. Um, I've actually got to leave tomorrow afternoon to meet uh, Chris Ward. And we're going to be traveling to the Midwest and hunting for a couple weeks. So this might be the last crack I get in Maryland before we head out of town, so. <laughs> I forgot to mention it's Halloween, so I decided to dress up this year. I'm going to be a bow hunter. Yeah. Hopefully it pans out. Danny is hoping that this Halloween hunt is more treat than trick. It's looking like it's gonna pan out for Danny. Before too long, 
he has one of his shooters walking out in the field. It seems like in years when I have, when I start out really strong early, the year usually typically keeps going that way. So the opportunities present themselves, it's just whether or not you can make it happen. Here it is, late October, the big deer are starting to move on their feet. Danny has an absolute killer, cool, giant body buck come in. If I know Danny, he's gonna make it good. Ninety percent of Danny's hunts, he films himself. He he tries to film, he tries to shoot, he does everything. Um, he's got very good at it the last couple of years. But in this case, in my opinion, I think that just cost him a great deer. What a deer, and I mean, just that much. That close. Danny sends me the footage, and when I popped it up on my phone, I thought, whoa, it's gonna be another big big buck down. And when I saw that he missed, and that's what comes with self-filming. I've tried it a little bit. I'm not good at it at all. And that cost him that buck, probably. That just goes to show you that it happens to the best of them. I personally am not one of the best of them, but it does happen to the best of them. <laughs> And subscribe to our channel like it you're gonna get that little notification bell it's gonna go off let you know when something new hits follow subscribe happy hunting this fall we love everybody thank you again Danny Callaway has been hunting hard in his home state of Maryland Danny got the year off to a great start harvesting this mature East Coast giant but later in the season adversity struck when Danny missed his old Maryland buck the pain train kept rolling as he missed another great buck in Indiana. But Danny wasn't about to let those misses bring him down. Day after day and encounter after encounter, Danny continues to grab his expedition and sit in his stand, waiting for an opportunity to make amends for his misses. I think one of the things that I really respect about Danny is not only how passionate he is about hunting whitetails, but is his tenacity. That mindset of, okay, I've got 90 days, well, if I don't have that tag field on day 89, I'm not just gonna throw in the towel and call it quits. He comes from a miss to the Midwest on a miss and then back to Maryland and he starts to grind. I promise you he's gonna get on another big deer. It's opening day of Maryland's late muscleload season and I'm hunting in a club. There's been two really good eight points on camera. It's rained most of the day. Deer should be on their feet. The wind, it's kind of iffy run my clothes through scent crusher, so hopefully we'll beat their nose. Big buck right here, baby.
foot deer that is. He ain't no giant by no means, but that sucker had a body like a tank. That was a big, old, mature deer. Let me tell you something about scent control. I come in here tonight, I way, I dressed way, way too heavy. I burnt my clothes up with the scent crusher on the way here. I had seven or eight deer downwind of me. The wind was all over the place, but primarily it was blowing where I didn't want it to. And I said, the heck with it. I'm confident in my scent control, confident in the products I use. That deer right there, he come in from behind me the way I walk in, and I smoked him. I mean, he probably wasn't over 15 yards. <laughs> And I tell you, I needed that, man. I've had a, I've had a rough year. I missed a good deer, shot just under his belly. Hunted with Jason. Jason killed a great deer in Indiana. I'm still not sure what happened, but I missed an absolute gorgeous deer. I don't care about his antlers. When I looked and saw how big this deer's body was, I knew he was a giant, a big old mature deer. The old super freak was hungry and it eat tonight. I'm predicting a short track job. <laughs> I've never hunted Maryland during the late season, uh, but I've been there in the summer, or not in the summer, in September, when nobody else has hunted these deer. Danny just shot a deer after everybody's hunted them all year, so I know how hard them deer are to hunt, and I guarantee you they're on pins and needles. That's pretty impressive. Congrats, man. I just got back to the truck and i called a buddy of mine to uh, help me film the recovery just my luck i have a flat tire he's gonna get an air tank and a can of fix the flat see if we can't get this tire blowed up and get this deer recovered if a flat tire wasn't enough danny's night continued to be full of excitement well i've had one heck of a night my camera broke i went to the truck i got a flat tire my mic's gone and i lost my bow I was so excited I got down, went and pulled the card on the camera, checked my arrow, and we've been looking for my bow. Thought I left it where I had the flat tire. There's my bow, hanging from the daggone pull rope. So that's good news, because that would have been devastating to me, because I love this bow. That arrow smoked that big boy. I shot him through both shoulders. I love making that shot. He was just such a big deer, he just destroyed this arrow. He scissored that arrow right off. You have to forgive us on this one. This is going to be pretty rough recovery. We've got a couple half-dead flashlights and a cell phone. We're limping by, but hey, this is hunting, man. This is real world, real life. Ain't no fancy editing out here or, or fancy lights or photography. You're getting it how it happens. There's a bunch of blood there. Oh, hell, point the light over there. Shoot, we about to step on him, man, look. Look at the head. Here we go, Danny kills another great buck, late season. And it just goes to show you how much he puts into it. Um, he, he works hard on his home turf. He puts in the time, he puts in the energy and the effort, and it pays off for him year after year after year. You can look at his pictures and, and it would blow your mind that these deer are coming from the East Coast, every single one of them with a bow. Like I said, he ain't much in the rack department for sure, but I knew that. I knew that when I took the shot, but look at the body on this thing. Look at this head. I mean, his face is unbelievably long. Got a big old white snout on him. Just a giant old pot belly deer. This deer has some age on him. Hey, I'll clean up these management deer all day long. You know, you can't always come out in the woods and kill big giant deer. I'd love to. I haven't seen any this year. I killed the best buck I've seen this year so far, early in the year. And this old fella here showed up tonight. And man, I had to let him have it. I just saw his body, man. Look at the size of it. I actually got him. We're actually laying in a little bit of a hole here. This sucker has got a big old pot belly on him, a big old head. I cannot get over the size of this deer's head. Four self-filmed deer in two years. That's getting it done. And I'm tickled to death with him. He's giving me that confidence boost I needed. And man, now the work begins. <laughs>